Hey, my name is Steve Ellers. I'm a firefighter paramedic with the Central County Fire Department uh, for the past 30 years. Um, one of the reasons why I chose the profession to be a firefighter is the tone's going off right now for calls. So I'll be back shortly. came back from a call. Uh, my question was why I chose this profession. Um, I've been exposed to the fire service since I was a very, very young child. Um, I'm a fourth generation firefighter. I grew up uh, hanging out at the fire station with my, my, my father, my uncle, my grandfather, and I followed in their footsteps as well as my brother and uh, the cousin. And uh, I find it a very challenging, rewarding profession. Uh, one of the uh, greatest things I think about the job itself is the unknown of what you're going to see or what you're going to go on from day to day. And one of the most rewarding things is actually helping people and seeing some outcome, positive outcome from that. And uh, it's been a great, uh, great career. Hi, my name is Kevin Kopashansky, and I am a captain in Central County Fire Department. So I chose my current profession because I wanted something a little bit more exciting and a little bit more fulfilling. Um, I had some friends that were in the fire service and some child, childhood uh, adults that were around me that were firefighters, and it seemed like an intriguing profession. Uh, I started to go to school for it and learn a little bit more about it. Uh, I got to volunteer some time at a local fire department, and I found that it was the career for me. Currently, I'm on my 30th year, and I wouldn't take one minute back. It's been a very fulfilling career, and I've come to the end, and I'm kind of sad about it. I was uh, the profession to become a firefighter paramedic because of a young experience I had. One brother and I, we had an uncle in the fire service, and a big role model for us growing up. And I remember visiting the station and uh, seeing some of the guys work at training, and uh, them running. When we got involved uh, with their uh, toy drive program, uh, where we got to go ahead and donate and deliver toys to uh, kids who need of toys on Christmas. And, and uh, that really set in with us and resided within us. And we really enjoyed that opportunity to help give back to the community. So it gave us a feeling of uh, accomplishment and a feeling to help others. And that's what we really enjoyed. So we said, hey, why not join the fire service? One of the other great things about the fire service is we do a lot of community service work. We're involved with the community on a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, one of the things, biggest community service things we do, we have a big pancake breakfast. We do a lot of public education with the schools, as well as uh, a lot of fire prevention involvement as well. We do a lot of volunteer work and we raise a lot of funds for uh, burn foundations as well as the military or anything else we can provide for. So. Some advice that I would give uh, to anyone who's looking for a career in the fire service. Uh, because first is going to be college, going to school. You have to go to a Firefighter One program, a Firefighter One Academy. Most colleges offer those types of programs. And then once you realize that the academy went really well for you and you enjoyed it, um, then it's going to be a little bit of a journey as far as going to move on and completing your EMT license. Uh, EMT is pretty much a prerequisite for most fire departments these days. Um, a lot of fire departments are going to uh, paramedicine now, um, so uh, that puts you on another list. So if you do have the extra two and a half years um, to invest into going to paramedic school is a huge help. Um, that's what I did, and it helped me out uh, significantly. I was able to get more job offers with a paramedic license than just with an EMT. Volunteer, build up your resume. Um, I think what you'd want to do is try to get into some sort of internship program, cadet program, explorer programs. There's tons throughout the area, especially in San Mateo County. And careers in the fire service, if anyone is interested in a career in the fire service, I strongly recommend getting your four-year college degree finished first, and then head yourself over to a community college that has a fire academy program, and sign up there and get your fire service, fire academy degree done, your AS degree, Associate Science and Fire Science as well as uh, your EMT, emergency medical technician, because 75, 80% of what we do is we run EMS calls for firefighter EMTs as well as firefighter paramedics. So I strongly recommend that as well as then becoming a volunteer in one of the local fire departments. And 
like I said, once again, it's a very rewarding, challenging career. And it's a profession, not just a job, it's a profession. Okay, what I like best about uh, my career right now, especially now that it's, it's coming to an end, is that over a period of 30 years, I've had many successes and then I've had just as many failures. And so at this time of my career, I feel it's very important to give back to our new people that are coming on board and teach them how to be good firefighters. Um, let them make little mistakes, but intervene when the mistakes um, might be costly to the organization or uh, something you know to do with their safety. Uh, in the fire service, we we like to pass knowledge of things that we've done down to our new newer people, so that when we leave, we leave the organization a better place than when we came on. Um, and a, a lot of the things that we do um, day to day allows us to take those challenges on which we could share those mistakes that I was talking about. Um, some of us, time out, we got a call. <laughs>